Well, I thought he'd call a quick turnaround. This time, Streck brings his Plymouth Argyle side to the den off the back of getting absolutely tonked 5 0 by Cardiff City. <laughs> Well, hello, welcome back to my channel. Please so like, comment, subscribe, and share. There's a way to be on law line and have yet to have done that. What are you doing? There we go. We're back on the bike. Um, it seems like yesterday we played Derby County, but Streck brings his very, 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 very beaten up Plymouth Argyle side to the den. Um, the full mentioned Plymouth Argyle side, of course, managed by Wayne Mooney. They're coming to the den absolutely on the floor. Absolutely on the floor. They got they got absolutely tonked um at the weekend against Cardiff City. But look, this is not gonna be a, this is gonna be quite a short pre map prediction because I have nothing to say other than we need to win this game. We need to win this game. We need to set our store out early. We need to get the formation right. It's probably going to be a bit of a ghost town on Wednesday, um, which I'm not a fan of, really. I'm not a fan of. Um, I think it should try and be as sold out as possible in every game. Um, but we know the players don't really like playing in front of, uh, in front of fans. So... Or big crowd, shall we say. So it could work in our favour. We absolutely have to beat Plymouth Argyle this Wednesday. Because if we don't, then... Um, it's, I can't even bear thinking about it. But look, Plymouth Argyle. Plymouth Argyle are probably the weakest team in this division. And if Cardiff can beat them, surely we can. But we need to get... Well, something needs to give. Something needs to give. We need to get the formation right. Maybe we need to rest a couple of players, um, get 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 some players some minutes, um, but we need to win this game. If we don't win this game, it's it's quite comical, and it's quite it's quite um, worrying, shall we say? So, look, I think we will win this game. I think we will see a reaction from the boys. We need to see a reaction one hundred percent. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you now. Um, I would change the formation. I would I would go with, to a four four two diamond. I would go to a four four two diamond to get two strikers up the top end of the pitch and players being able to run beyond and holding the ball up. Um, because yes, we're creating stuff. Yes, we keep banging on about how we should be high up in the table, but the, the table don't lie. We need to start winning games of football. And we need to start winning games of football from Wednesday. And I'm expecting us to, shall I say, take our anger out on some of the path results and path weeks um, of results on Plymouth Argyle on Wednesday. I think we will, I think we will hurt them sort of thing. If you, if you get where I'm coming from, now what should be a nil-nil draw? Um, but I'm expecting us to win this game. I think we will win this game. If we we need to come out the traps because at the weekend we didn't come out the traps. We didn't come out the traps. We looked a little bit lethargic, um, and that something needs to give. Like I said, and I think we need to change the formation. But I'm expecting us to kind of take our anger out on Plymouth in the week. Um, they're no good. They got some good goodish players at this level, shall we say, Andre Gray. Um, the man that we all know, um, the pace machine, Michael Buffemi. But apart from that, they're not they're, they're not nothing special. If Cardiff can conquer them three nil, um, if we just go up in a few levels, what can we do? You get one coming from. I think we need to go up a few levels. I think we were a two out. Of, nah, I think we were six out of ten at most at the weekend, and we need to try and go to eight. Seven, eight out of ten to to get the three points tomorrow. I want to see us. I want to see us move the ball a little bit better than we did. I want to see us create opportunities, and I want to see us score the goals. So look, I'm going to go with us to take our anger out on Plymouth a little bit here, and I'm going to go with Millwall three, Plymouth Argyle one with Mihailo Ivanovic 
get in his second goal for the club. Um, closely followed by Jaffa Tanganga. I'm going to keep saying Jaffa Tanganga until he scores. And I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with... Who do I go with? Who do I go with? Who do I go with? I am going to go with... Ryan Leonard. Ryan Leonard's a pop-up from the back. I don't know how he's going to do it. But um, I'm going to get Ryan Leonard, Jaffa Tanganga, Mihailo Ivanovic in a a 3-1 win. That will be a relief. Um, We'll take the pressure off a little bit. Um, But we need to start performing. We need to start scoring the goals. Because, yes... We've been good, but the table don't lie. If you think you know what the score is going to be, please let me try to drop it in the comments below. And all that's left for me to say is I will see you in beautiful SC16 on Wednesday. Come on, you lions.